Hi friends, I hope everyone's doing well. This is another video that I'm filming during my week off from posting on YouTube. These five painted canvases have been sitting unfinished for quite some time. My plan is to add abstract collages on top. It's gonna to be a challenge since each ground layer is very busy. Let's see what I can do with each one. I'm starting with this painted canvas because it's the most challenging for me due to the color combination. I pulled papers in browns, tans, and creams, teals, and this bright green, which I wasn't sure about pulling, but I thought it'd add a good strong color element and shades of orange. I know that I pulled too many papers, but as always, I wanted to have options. For the adhesive, I'm using soft gel matte medium. This step will be done off camera to save time. For the collage layer, I was inspired by these two mixed media collages that I created in my sketchbook. Each one has a detailed vertical composition. It's a simple composition that can be elevated by adding various colored papers in different sizes and shapes. Also, the vertical orientation of the collage will tie in with the vertical yellow and brown paint strokes that are on the canvas. One more thing, when I create vertical as well as horizontal compositions, I like them to be off center. I think it's more pleasing placement. I was unsure about creating this first collage, so I decided not to glue the base layer of the papers right away. I wanted to get a feel for how the collage was gonna look, then glue those papers in place. As with all the collages I create, I'm being mindful of having light, mid, and dark value papers. Also having the whole artwork, canvas and collage, being balanced and cohesive. Once the base layer papers were glued, then I came back and added accent papers.
I'm glad I started with this canvas first. It was a challenge due to the color combination, but I'm happy with the final artwork. Here's the grayscale version. When I say I like to have all three values represented in my artwork, I don't mean there are equal amounts of each value. This artwork leans more mid-tone, but has light and dark values as well. This next canvas has a similar painted pattern as the previous one. I'll be creating another vertical composition because I want to lean into the vertical paint strokes. Again, the placement will be off-center, but on the other side. To change things up from the last collage, I pulled papers in a limited color palette. There are light red and light orange papers. I pulled these papers to bring in a light value that ties into the dark red painted ground and various shades of blued papers to tie in with the very dark blue paint on the canvas. Also, I pulled a white and gray dot pattern paper if the collage needs a very light value paper. I felt comfortable with how I was going to construct the collage layer, so I decided to glue the papers down as I worked. I can't think of anything else to say at this point. I'll add music while you watch me build this collage layer, then come back so we can review the final artwork.
This is a good example of how working with a limited color palette can produce a successful artwork. It's balanced and cohesive. Here's the grayscale version. It has a strong contrast between the painted ground layer and the paper layer. This painted canvas is washed out looking, but I didn't want to alter it for a few reasons. First, it'll be a challenge for me to work with it. Secondly, once I put varnish on the finished artwork, it will intensify the appearance of the paint. I was going back and forth about the composition. Since the white paint splatter is mostly in the middle and top sections of the canvas, I was thinking about using the L composition or maybe the U composition. As you'll see soon, I decided on the U composition. I pulled papers and light values of muted green, creams, and yellow. Also mid-tone grays along with light gray and white. For the dark values, I pull black and deep navy papers. At this point, I'll add music while you watch me build this collage. I'll come back and discuss the finished artwork.
Here's the finished artwork. I need to make a note to use this U composition more often. I really like the contrast between the paper layer and the painted layer. It has a strong background foreground contrast. Also the light yellow paper elements add a nice color detail. The grayscale version I think would be just as successful if the artwork was in this colorway. The next two painted canvases are more in my comfort zone due to the color. Green is my favorite color. Since the strong white splatter is slightly off-center and vertical, a vertical composition with groups of paper on either side of the white splatter would be good. Or the U composition is another good choice. I'm leaning towards the vertical composition since I just used the U composition. The first two collages use the vertical composition, but this time around I'll be adding two separate groups of papers on either side instead of one vertical group of papers. The papers I pulled are bright orange and yellow along with this light orange and cream one and various shades of blue papers. Also brought out these green papers, but I'm not sure if I wanted to use them. These are just in case papers. Again, I'll add music while you watch me create the collage layer and come back once it's finished.
I like that this vertical composition isn't as obvious as the first two collages. The two sides frame the vertical white splatter. I like that the two groups of collage sections are different in size and shape, so they're not a mere image of each other. I like the sparse use of the bright yellow paper. It's a nice accent color. Here's the grayscale version. It leans mid to dark value with accents of light value. Here's the final painted canvas. Since there aren't a lot of splatters at the top, I think it would be good to place the collage papers in that area. A horizontal composition with some elements trailing downward. I pulled papers in a limited color palette that have various shades of orange, yellow, and red. I wanted there to be contrast between the painted ground layer and the paper layer. My plan is to use papers that are mostly red with accents of orange and yellow. Also, I'm trying to get comfortable with a red-green color combination. It's not one that I gravitate towards. It gives me a strong Christmas vibe, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I just want to work through that visual so I can use this color combination more often in my art practice. Also, I pulled one green paper just in case it's needed. I won't be talking through this collage section as well, so I'll add music at this point and come back once the artwork is finished.
I like the composition of this artwork as well. It's one that I don't use enough. I need to add it to my art list as a reminder to use it more often. I think the top collage layer complements the lower painted section. Here's the grayscale version. I think it's balanced and cohesive. I hope you enjoyed watching me finish these five works in progress. It was fun to take the busy painted canvases and create collages on top. Let me know which one you like. Also, let me know if you have any questions. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch this video. Take care.